Ciao ragazzi! Hello Fantastics! Welcome to another episode of Watercolors for Beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint lights and shadows with watercolors using the classical, typical example of the sphere. So if you're interested, just follow this tutorial. Before you color, before you, you use the watercolors, you want to exercise. So just take a regular piece of paper and a pencil, draw a circle like this, and then decide which part of the light is gonna come. And then take three different shades of grey. If you want to, you can either use graphite pencil or colored pencils. So with these three shades of grey, you want to draw the chiaroscuro. So you want to create the shadows and the lights on your object to give it the volume. So you want to color the object with the three different shades of grey to create the form shadow, which is the shadow of the object itself. And then you want to create also the cast shadow, which is the shadow of the object projected on the ground. In this tutorial I just want to keep it simple and just show you the basics of lights and shadows in drawing and painting. We will treat the subject more specifically in other tutorials here in my channel in the next future. So now I want to show you how to do the same using watercolors. First, you want to draw a circle on a watercolor paper and then you want to prepare your colors. So just choose a color, the color that you prefer, and then create at least three different shades of the same color. So as you can see in the example here, I'm creating four different blue colors so different shades of blue, starting from the lighter blue, going to a darker blue. So now you want to decide which part the light is going to come and then you want to take your clear water and wet the paper. We're going to do a wet on wet technique, which is in my opinion, the best technique to create a very soft and uh, uniform shading of colors. And then you want to start adding the first color, which is a lighter one. And then you want to add the second color, which is um, a little bit darker. And then gradually add all the other colors. So going from the lighter to the darker. On the bottom of your sphere, you want to add the darkest color of all and then blend the colors nicely and well to create a very smooth shading. As I told you before, this video is very basic. I'm not going to treat everything we need to say about this very complex subject. So I just want to give you some quick tip to color a sphere object and give it the right volume, the right lights and the right shadows. And once you're happy you want to dry it, either let it dry or dry it with a hair dryer. And this is the result. So now if you want to you can also add the cast shadow. And to do that, you just want to draw it before with a pencil, just to make sure you draw it correctly. And then uh, you want to paint it using the darker color that you used for the shadow, uh, the form shadow of your object.
And remember that where the object is touching the ground is the part of absolute darkness. So I want to show you again all the passages we did before, but this time I want to use a different color. I'm going to use a red color, so I'm going to prepare my red shades on my um, plate. And so I want to create a lighter red, mixing together some orange red and some yellow, and then I want to create the same color, just add uh, a little bit of uh, a darker color like a black color or um, a brown color and this will create different shades of the same color and I want to create three or four shades as we did before so now you want to just repeat all the passages we did before so wet the paper with some clear water decide where the light is gonna come and then add the colors gradually from the lighter ones to the darker ones. So I know guys, I'm repeating myself, but as I told you before, this subject is very complex and it deserves to be treated very, very well in another tutorial or more tutorials. So stay tuned because we will talk about this again. So guys, this is the result. I also added the cast shadow on the red sphere. So yeah, this is it. I hope you liked it and I also hope that um, you found this some way useful for you. So let me know by leaving some comments down below and leaving some thumbs up. And of course, I will see you in my next video. Bye bye. Ciao. Subscribe to my channel and share my videos with your friends. And click here for more videos.